Give me the rank. They all the same. These are all the homies. But we're going to go like Dirt and them crew. It's OTF, right. Keith and them crew, and Glow Game. Then we're going to go like E Day, Memo, 600, Breezy, yeah. and 600. Who you got as number two? And why? GBE. Okay, GBE. Oh, so you're going to go over OTF, OTF more in the open now. What that mean? Okay. McDonald's is just a million of them bitches on Air Corner. That's some terrible ass food. Okay, so, okay. You going with the go? Yeah, man. I mean, they started it, bro. Uh, more impactful. They started it. It ain't even impact, man. It's really reality. Okay. They started it. Ain't no OTF without GBE. Fact. That's why I can't put OTF over GBE because, nigga, OTF don't exist without But you GBE. just said you ain't heard a, a, a good Sosa song in a while. I don't know. No matter. He still he so started so, it. Still started it. I believe in the people okay. that start shit deserve the credit. Okay. I don't care who took it and ran with it the best. Nigga, you started some shit out of nothing, my nigga. Uh-huh. Bro, we used to live on the ground, bro. Uh-huh. We used to sleep on dirt. One day a nigga said, I'm finna build some walls. I don't want to sleep outside no more. A nigga created that shit out his mind, out of nothingness. Nigga, we was outside in trees in the dirt. A nigga, out his mind, out of nothingness, said, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm going to put some over my head. I'm going to put some walls right here. Now it ain't windy no more. When it rained, I'm dry. Bro, a nigga created that out of nothing. That's deep. Are you telling me that because it was just a little shack that a nigga who just built a $300,000 house in motherfucking the suburbs... He's better at building houses than the nigga who created the fucking house. I don't care what kind of house it was, nigga. Nigga, you had a thousand years of other houses to learn from. This nigga had nothing. No, I totally agree. He had no houses. He nigga made the house out of nothing, out of air. Uh. So GBE got to be over OTF, bro, because GBE created. They it. created this shit. Everybody else <laughs> followed along. Then you, you, then OTF right behind him. Okay, OTF over six hundred. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Because OTF took it and ran with it in the way that FBG and G- Glow Gang wished they could have. Okay. So they were the ones that watched the two say, damn, okay, now we know what to do. I get that. You see what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, bro. Uh, it seemed like 600 kind of fractured. If you just want to speak directly about 600 without everybody else, they seem very fractured. Okay, what you mean by that? I don't see a lot of unity in people with 600 in their name. I don't see these niggas together. I don't see them talking about the same things. I don't see them. I see them arguing. Oh. You see what I'm saying? That's deep, right? Now. I see niggas arguing. They got 600 in their name, man. So that's something that they need to come together as brothers. Because they all repping the same spirit, the same energy, the same. Uh-huh. Boy, y'all niggas supposed to be standing right next to each other. Why is one nigga over here, one nigga over here, one nigga down here? One, like, come on, man. That's deep. So you can see that shit through the lens. Yeah, bro. Uh-huh. You can see that's just the fracturing. You can see there ain't no motion, no movement, but there is no 600 movement. Uh-huh. It's just a whole bunch of niggas with 600 in their name. No, I totally get you on that. I want to get back to Dirk. <clears throat> I want to get back to Dirk because you said he took it to... Kind of took it a little He further. did it the right way. He, he, did, did, it right he way. did it the right way from a business perspective. Okay. Business perspective. You just said business perspective. He modeling. Got a record label. He owning businesses. The man even got a bag of chips, bro. The man has got, he's on a bag of chips, and he's not a sports player. That's big, bro. Okay? That's it's a regular street dude. I got a bag of chips, okay, right? Have you tried the Dirk Yoga? Never, never, never tried Oh, this is perfect, okay? Never tried them, dude. These are yours. You can keep these, too. I, I, I got a bag of, of the Dirk Rap Snacks. I want you to show the people the packaging. I want you to tell me exactly what you think of the packaging before you open it up. See, man, dirt, man. The Uwe Wavies. I wonder why he picked Ranch. Okay, so that's flavors what again? Say like Uwe Wavy Ranch. I just wonder why he picked that okay, flavor. Okay, we got a Ranch joint. Yeah, I wonder why he picked this flavor. So what you like about the packaging? You like the packaging? Could it be better? I like that he repping his brothers on there. Okay, so you mean he got his family on there with the chains? I, mean, I like that. That's the first thing I see. Other than the flavor, like buttermilk ranch, this is a kind of weird flavor. <laughs> I like regular chips, you know, okay. or, or hot chips or something. Like, so you would have thought he would have had a hot chip. I would have thought, but I know somebody else got a hot chip. I think don't Boosie got the hot chip. Boosie, Boosie. got a hot chip. Yeah, so I understand. But, I mean, he could have did something on Chicago. Okay. I mean, he could have did like you know 
nigga, so salt and sour or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I mean, shit, it's, a, it's dope, bro. I, I salute people, man. This take see, this took a whole bunch of people working <laughs> together. This took positive energy, meetings, shaking hands, smiles. That's the only reason we holding this bag, bro. Okay. And this is the part of the game that they not teaching the street nigga. The reason Dirk got these chips ain't because he the biggest gangster in the world. It's not because he the biggest rapper in the world. It's because he got a team of people who love him. They work together. They spread shit together. They share shit together. They work together. Equal shit like this. Uh, Street certified news in the building. You know what I'm saying? Is it a good um, price point? Is it too high? Is that a good price point for the chips? Shit, everything costs a lot now. So, okay. I mean, that's a decent price point. You know How what much is that? Uh, one ninety nine, two dollars. Oh, two dollars for a bag of chips. Yeah, I mean that. I mean, you know, it's a, it's kind of a designer bag. You know what I'm saying? They got bigger <laughs> bags for two dollars, <laughs> but it ain't got dirt on it. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand like, this seem more like a collector's item. Like I might start banning these bags and not opening them and just oh. having all the bags and shit. Oh, because okay. it's like that's how I kind of look at this. Like, um, like remember when everybody was on the lean and shit? Like all the weird exotic pops and shit. Right. I feel like we creating our own exotic flavors now with our people, so I really do like it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I even like the fact that you are promoting his brand because now his energy and his spirit is not flowing through you. Mm, okay. We all connected. We all connected. Talk to that shit, you, Rex. Rex, we want to see you try. Okay, the back of it, it got yeah, some, it got some shit on the back. Yeah, it got some shit on the back. Okay, so you got a little special note, a little special something on the back for people to read and shit on there. Look kind of long and shit, but he got something back there for you to read. Yeah. I mean, I believe it's a slogan. I okay. mean, it's cool. But the real message behind it is powerful. Okay. Um, I don't know if the person who wrote it actually believe in the words that they wrote. Okay. Because, you know, they marketing. They trying to sell an image. But at the same time, um, it got quotes on it, so I'm guessing he said it. Okay. So maybe he do believe it, man, because I know he say these types of things a lot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The the biggest thing I say is family over everything. Oh, okay. That's that's what I see more than I see all these other words, you know, you fall back, keep a strong man, all that shit is cool. Okay. Family over everything. I like it. I like it, bro. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a taste test. Yeah, wanna, let's try it out. You wanna see the famous free certified news taste these joints. Nigga fuck it on my diet, G. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get right for the summer. It's good. Okay, now, I want to ask you a few questions about these. About All right, these tastings, Okay. Um, is it a chip that's out right now that it tastes like? Or does it taste like an exclusive chip that you never tasted before? Some Ruffles, Lay's or something. Okay, so it tastes like a Ruffle. Mm-hmm. I had them before. I want to know your opinions. It tastes like a Ruffle. Say, I'm going to say like sour cream and onion. Oh, sour cream and onion. I don't, maybe it's the ranch or something, but it's good, bro. It's good, man. I like stuff like this. You know mm. what I'm saying? This the stuff that, you know, transcend the streets, man. Okay, if you was to walk in the corner store right now, they had a bag, of, and you was a chip person. Let's say you're a chip person. I'm a chip person. Y'all okay, chip you're a chip person. Chip. They got a bag of Doritos right here. Mm-hmm. They got a bag of Flaming Hots. They got a bag of the Ooey Butter Milk Ranch to Little Dirt Chips. Which ones you grab? And if you're not grabbing them, would you grab them again? Um, yeah, I like them, bro. They're good. Okay. I really be believing, like, when it comes to, like, food and just purchases, bro, I believe in, like, 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 it got to be, like, a cost analysis or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'll be looking at shit like, how many ounces am I getting for, <laughs> okay. this, for this amount of money? Okay. So, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to keep it 100, man. I'm picking the biggest bag. For the best price. Okay. Would you buy them again? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, w- I would buy. I would buy these, man. I, I support black business, man. I know it's a black guy that like really run the the, uh, the like the main brand and stuff. Okay. You know what I mean, so yeah, bro. I, I think that. I think that is positive, man. I would buy it. I think it tastes great. Okay. It's just a little bag of love too small for two dollars. <laughs> just for me. Okay. Cause I'll be bad shit like, man, I'm getting it. this is only what? Two and a half ounces, nigga. I'm like, this is a six ounce okay. bag for the same price, nigga. I'm getting like triple the triple the product. Now I got one more question I wanna yeah, ask about the rap snacks. 
Because I used to be a chip eater before I got messed with my teeth up and shit. But I want to ask you. Is that a cheap tasting chip, like a family dollar tasting nah. chip, or does that taste like a real? No, nah, like I said, chip? the first thing I thought was like it tastes like Lay's, like Ruffles. Okay. It tastes like a good chip. It don't mm-hmm. taste like no. So you know about a fake, a, a cheap. It don't. Chip. It ain't no Waz. It don't taste like no Waz. <laughs> it don't taste like no Vintners, no Jays. And shout them out because them Chicago brands, but they right. make cheap shit. They product is cheap. You know, what I'm I bad a lot because they give you a lot for the bread. Right. But this tastes more expensive. Okay. It tastes like it got better seasoning. The chip is thicker. Like, bro is doing right, man. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, salute, bro, man.